Welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at AutoPrint. It is a free utility that can be used in conjunction with ImagePrint Red and ImagePrint Black. AutoPrint is what is commonly referred to as a hot folder utility. It allows you to do hands-free automated printing. But AutoPrint allows you to do so much more than just that. We are going to look at how AutoPrint can control an Epson D870 dry lab printer and a 24-inch large format printer performing automatic size sorting through a smart folder. AutoPrint works equally as well whether you're using another application to do assembly or if you're using AutoPrint's extensive layout capabilities or a combination of both. I have a mixture of files prepared both ways that we'll be using later in this demonstration. For this demonstration, we are going to be working with two queues and a special kind of folder called a smart folder. Queues are individual hot folders, each with its own settings for how images dropped into it will be printed. AutoPrint can have an unlimited number of queues with each one performing a different task, be it sizing, cropping, nesting, or photo packaging, just to name a few. You can drop or save images into each queue's hot folder directly, or you can use a smart folder and let AutoPrint decide which queue's hot folder the image should go to based on its size. By the way, using a smart folder is also a great way to do printer load balancing if using multiple printers with the same settings. Let's get started. I've already launched AutoPrint. It's located in the image print folder or can be downloaded from our support page on our website. When you launch AutoPrint for the first time, there's some setup you need to do. The first thing is to select the printer. Now AutoPrint works with both image print black and image print red. Since I'm using a D870 dry lab printer, I'm going to be using image print red for this demonstration. So for this printer, I'm going to select red large. The next thing we need to do is make our cues. I'm going to select the up arrow here and it's going to open up the cue section so I can select new cue. I've already made my cues, but I'll make a new one just to go through the steps. A box comes up that allows me to type in the name of the cue. I'll call this one test. Now we need to point to the hot folder we want to watch for that cue. Select browse folders and navigate to the folder you want to use. You can also create the folder if you haven't already done so. I'll do that now. Because this is image print red and red sits on top of the OEM driver, we need to grab some information from the driver as to what the correct settings and page size are. The way we do that is to extract that information from a job already sent from image print red. In image print, you'll need to make a print that uses the page size and media type you want to use for this SKU, as well as any other quality settings. Once you have a completed image print red job available in Spoolface that uses the right settings, we're ready to move on to the next step. Let's select the button called Red Data. It's going to bring up a list of jobs from our spooling system. Find the image print job you just made or any other job that has the settings you want to use and select Apply at the bottom. The data will be extracted and added to the queue settings for the selected queue, which in this case is test. You now have the page size, paper profile, and quality settings in place for this queue. If you're going to have multiple queues, you will just repeat these steps for each one. I'm using two different size printers, so I also want to use a smart folder to automate sorting images into the right printer's hot folder according to the image size. To do that, let's choose Smart Folder Setup. Once the Smart Folder Setup window comes up, I can see a list of all my queues and their hot folders at the bottom. We can select which queues we want to include in the Smart Folder sorting, but first we need to point to the Smart Folder we want to use. So at the top, 
choose Browse, and navigate to the folder or create one if you haven't done so yet. Now let's go ahead and check the Enable Smart Folder Checking button as well. The last thing we need to do here is set the size ranges we want each Q's Hot folder to receive from the Smart Folder. In this case, I'm going to refer to the two folders I've previously created. I have an Epson D870 with 8 inch roll paper loaded. I'm going to select Use Ranges. I want any image 8x10 or smaller down to a minimum size of 2x2 to go to this printer's hot folder for printing. For my 24 inch printer, I want anything over 8x10 to a max of 24x36 to go to its hot folder. Now that I've set my smart folder settings for each queue, I'm going to hit apply and then close this window. Each queue runs as a separate process, so we need a way to launch each one. The final step here is to make the launch scripts. Choose the queue you want to create the launch script for and go to File and select Create Auto Print Launch Script for Red Large. You'll see a shortcut appear on your desktop for that queue. Repeat this process for each queue and then exit Auto Print. Now we are ready to launch the individual queues and make any queue specific settings. Let's start with the D870 queue. I'm going to double click its launch script and it will start running and then automatically minimize itself. To make changes, I need to stop it from running. To do that, I'm going to expand it by double clicking. Then click to pause the queue and then quick background printing. Now I'm ready to make some changes to the queue's behavior. AutoPrint has a lot of settings to customize your workflow, but we just need to set a couple here. Up at the top, let's drop down Settings and then select Layout Settings. I don't need to do much here, but I do want to set my preferences for image rotation. Let's move down to the image rotation settings and expand it. I want to turn on Automatically Rotate, and then over to the right, I want to turn on Landscape for my preferred orientation. What I'm doing here is making sure that AutoPrint will rotate the image if necessary to get the best fit for the image on the page. Because my page size is so small at 8x10, I want to make sure that if a 5x7 image falls on the page that it's rotated so that one more can fit. I'm going to start the queue back running and close this window and now this queue is ready for production. I can minimize it by just double clicking the auto print icon. It's back to checking the smart folder and the queue's hot folder for new files. Let's do the same thing for the 24 inch queue. I'll turn on image rotation again but this time I'm going to keep the preferred rotation at zero. Images will only be rotated if they don't fit the page in their original orientation. I'm going to make two other changes for this queue. Since we are talking about automation here, I'm going to turn on my cut it out feature. This way everything that goes to print on my 24 inch printer will automatically have cut vectors assigned to it and I can go right from the printer to my GraphTech automated cutter and cut everything out perfectly. Finally, let's go under the general settings where I'm going to set a trigger for when auto print should consider a page ready to be printed. You can set triggers for the number of images on the page, the percentage of the page's area the images fill, or elapsed time, or a combination of all three. For this queue, we're going to set a percentage and time trigger. Let's go with 80% of the page and 0.2 for 2 tenths of a minute. This way, our hot folder won't wait around too long before sending the job if 80% of the page isn't filled. I have paper saving modes on by default for the printer, so I'm not going to waste paper by doing this. Okay, I'm all set with this queue. I'm going to close this settings window and start it running. Now one thing we can do while our queues are running is watch the layout as they are being built. 
To do this, I'm going to click on the page icon down at the bottom middle. This brings up my layout window viewer. Now I can minimize the main control panel and just keep the viewers up. I'll go ahead and bring the viewer up for the D870 as well. Right. We are ready to drop some files into the smart folder and watch auto print work. I have a folder with some images and I'm just going to drag them into the smart folder. We can watch both of my layout windows as it sorts through the images and sends them to the correct Q's hot folder based on the size range I set in the smart folder. My image print spooler paused, so I'm just collecting each page sent into the spooler to be printed. All of our jobs are here. I'm going to enable the queue and let's go take a look at them coming out of the printer. We have our 8x10s coming out of the printer right now. We have three of those sheets and after these come out uh, we're going to be followed by the 5x7s that are rotated and placed two up on a sheet. And at the same time we have the large format jobs going out to the 24 inch printer. Here are the 5x7s rotated and placed two up on an 8x10 page. It really is this easy to create an automated workflow with AutoPrint. I'm driving multiple printers here, but even with a single printer, you can create an unlimited number of queues with each one performing a different task. Thanks for watching this demonstration.